Um, I'm David Bates from Kimberly Campers USA. So we're the master importers of the Kimberly brand here in the USA. Today we're going to go over the Kimberly Caravan. So this is the kind of the middle model for us. It's, uh, I wouldn't say it's our flagship model, but it's our definitely most uh, sophisticated model that we have out there. A lot of people ask us, what, what is the purpose of this trailer? So the purpose is for you to be able to go out wherever you want to go and to be able to live off grid if you want to for literally if you have sun indefinitely. You can run the whole trailer forever if, you're, if you have, uh, we have enough solar up on, up on top to be able to charge everything and run everything that you need. Um, usually couples buy this trailer or couples with two or three kids. We have the ability to sleep four inside and then a few outside. The trailer is actually up in its, in its full glory right now. What happens is this bed here it slides out and the roof goes up. So first you slide the roof up and then you slide the bed out. But when it's when it's closed up, the end of the trailer is right here. The total length is 18 feet, three inches, and the height is just over seven feet when it's in its travel condition. When it's out like this, it's a little over 11 feet tall and about 28 feet long. So we'll go over a little bit of the kitchen here too and some, some other little neat things here. So kitchen here, you have the ability to cook um, Outside, we have a full sink, um, dual burner. We have some different options here. If you want a Weber barbecue, you can put that in there. Likewise, inside, when we go in there, I'll show you, we have induction cooking or diesel cooking inside with a full sink and everything in there. Um, some of the, <clears throat> the DNA of the Kimberly brand is that we have um, a trailing A-arm suspension under here with airbag control, so you can level it. You can lift it up side to side. Um, wrapping around the back side here, um, a lot of people ask, what do you do to be able to clean off? Outside we have an outdoor shower. Likewise, we have an indoor shower and I'll get to that. Um, plug out here if you need power out here. Um, a neat, interesting uh, feature of the Kimberly is that if you're out of water, you have the ability to drive somewhere to find water and you can suck it out of a pond or out of a lake or out of a river or a bucket if you need, need to and, and it won't contaminate the rest of the water system. It isolates it. If you, if you don't want to bring it into your tanks at all. You can simply turn a couple valves and what will happen is you'll suck water in to the heat exchanger inside. It will heat the water and you can take a, a hot water shower just out of a bucket if you want to. Um, in the back here, <coughs> just a huge area for storage. Um, now this is a customer trailer so he's just stuffing all of his um, odds and ends over here inside, inside this area. We don't use any wood on our trailers. It's all aluminum fiberglass or steel. A lot of people ask that. I guess, take that back, we have just the wood faces of the cabinets. That's the only thing that's wood in this trailer. Another question people ask is like, what is setup time? Um, to set this thing up, it takes about a minute. You literally have, there's six latches that you undo around it. You press a button on the inside here, it lifts up, and then you slide the bed out and you're done. And you're ready to camp. The only, um, we have one propane tank and that is only used for outside cooking. The, all the inside heating um, is done by diesel. In, inside here we have dual lithium batteries and there's 600 amp hours total. Uh, there's a DC to DC charger up there, enough room to put a 2000 watt uh, generator in there in case you need it. Up front we have either the DO35 articulating um, hitch or the McHitch which is another um, Aussie brand type of hitch. Some of the unique features that we have on a Kimberly also is we don't use drum brakes. All standard on all of our trailer is electric over our hydraulic disc brakes. Um, what that gives you is you can go through water and they're not going to fade. Um, like a drum brake will fade. Um, it's much more linear feeling when you're stopping. You, you don't feel any jerking from the trailer. It's, it's literally like you're just stopping your vehicle. Just a smooth stop. Um, around here we have Two spots for jerry cans. You can put diesel, you can put water. This customer has water in one and diesel in another. And then this small black tank here is the diesel that feeds the rest of the systems inside the trailer, the heating, uh, the hydronic heating and also the air heater inside. So up in here, um, the, the, the steps just pull out and then fold back in pretty easy. So, um, but you come in here. A couple unique features about the caravan in particular is that um, you can shower inside here and you can also go to the bathroom. In this area, you have a couple options. You have a composting toilet or you have a toilet called the Wrap-On Green. Another great product. You literally do your thing, you press a button, pulls it down, it heat seals in a bag, you'll throw the bag away just like a diaper. But if you want to take a shower, you lift up this little lever here and this rotates out of the way. And this area in here, 
That area there becomes your shower. Some other things that are going on in here, we have uh, optional TV. Um, if you want a cooktop in here, we have diesel or we have induction cooktop, as different options. 130 liter upright fridge with a small freezer inside. There is a microwave on this side here. So for monitoring and checking out the trailer, you have battery state of charge. You can go in here and you can see what is producing energy or what is consuming energy in the trailer. You can go in here and see what are your tank levels. Of, um, we have two water tanks on board. One is uh, 50 gallons total and then we have one gray water tank. We don't have any black water. And then you have temperatures of your fridge and temperatures of your shocks. You have a pitch and roll sensor so you know if your trailer is level or not when you go to camp. A bench light to light everything underneath here. Then we have a 3000 watt pure sign inverter. What's neat about the, the caravan in particular is that you can run the air conditioner that's on board off the batteries for several hours. Um, if you have good sun, you can run it for longer than that. Going up here, we have two fans that allows you, if you open up the rear windows, you can um, pull a breeze through. And if you want to go the other way, you can have these blow into the trailer and keep it cool. Um, we have a positive pressure cabin system. So you turn this guy on here. When you're traveling in dusty conditions, it'll pressurize the cabin to keep all the dust out of the trailer. Down over on this area here, uh, prep area for your sink. And then inside here, <clears throat> these are all just drawers for storage of whatever you want to put in here. So on this side of the trailer, we have seating here for three and then um, seating here for a single person. And then if you want to have a meal, you can slide this out and uh, eat here, play cards, do work if you're working remotely. That slides in here. Um, for storage underneath the bed, there's giant storage for clothes or whatever stuff you have and uh, want to put in here. Um, there are um, two methods to heat the trailer. We have a hydronic heater, so it heats glycol, and then we run it through a heat exchanger and it heats water. Um, that's used to heat our domestic hot water. It's also down here to use to heat. Um, we run that glycol through in a heat exchanger down here and blows in, into the trailer and heats this area. We also have an air heater that's also diesel run. That, so if you're in super cold temperatures like if you're down in the teens, you'll stay warm just fine in, in the trailer here. A uh, full-size queen bed. Yes, it is a full-size queen bed. For you tall guys, um, six, eight guys can sleep on here comfortably. And then for the ceiling here, um, the uppermost part is over seven feet. This clearance right here is a, about six ten. So a lot of tall guys ask is, can I, can I come in here and not hit their noggin? This is, uh, you can get through here and, and you'll be plenty comfortable. Um, they are actually built in Australia. So a lot of brands that claim that they're Australian built, most of those are built in China. But Kimberly is proudly built in Australia and they've been doing it for 28 years now. Man, it tows like a dream. If you can put this behind almost any vehicle and you, you don't even know it's there, um, it will go over anything. A lot of people think, man, all this luxury, you know, you have you know leather, real leather couches. There's 27 different leather colors, but with all this luxury, you can still go wherever you want to go. The DNA is, and number one feature of a Kimberly is off-road, and luxury is second. So price point, it's uh, between 80, 85,000 up to all the bells and whistles, everything you want on it is right around 110,000.